What's up everyone, it's Jason here today, we're doing a recap of AMC, also how we just broke through a level of resistance on AMC we haven't seen since back in March. We're going to go over where we could go from here. If you haven't, make sure to smack the like button down below, not to about this video, but how new people learn about AMC. Also, if you're not a sub, make sure you hit that sub button, hit that little bell notification down below, that you guys to stay up to date with videos on AMC and other stocks out there, and let's get right into it. Real quick, though, before we get into this, and you see this crazy number right here. If you guys are wondering what I'm using, I am using Weibo. There's a link down in the description. Go down and sign up really quick. Get some free money. Put 100 bucks in off that link. You get two free stocks worth 1800 bucks. You also get these Tier 2 NASDAQ views for three months. You can see the buys and sells in real time and know what's going down before anyone else. Well, as you can currently see right now, we're pushing near $16 right now in aftermarket hours. We finally broke through that level of resistance we've been wanting to break through right around $14.90. And it looks like skies could be that next limit. We're going to go over a little recap really quick. I know it's crazy right now. Uh, we did start going into the market hours today around $13.45. Uh, then we shot up to around $14.43. But from there on out, for the most of the day, it was pretty lackluster, really. It was pretty much just a straight shot day. A little bit ups, a little bit downs here and there. Five, ten cents up and down, up and down, up and down. And at the end of the day, it's not that worst day in the world. We ended up, you know, plus 7.47% over uh, Friday's closing. So it's a great day overall right there. But in the aftermarket hours, you can see right now, we're up another 12.7% right now. Up to $15.72. Aftermarket hours are rocking. And I'm super excited to see where we go from here. Now, I want to show you this level of resistance that I'm talking about right now. You can also see the, uh, the RSI right now. Now, we can go to this RSI. What the RSI does right now, it, it just shows you when a, when a stock is being overbought and when it's being oversold. Obviously, when it's being way overbought, over 70, it means you're seeing these up arrows, right? If it goes below 30, it means you're being oversold and you'd see more of a drop, you know, a drop straight down. And right now, we're on a roller coaster ride up. We have a little bit of sell off here, right? And we're having a little bit of sell right here, but that's not just how it works right now, right? You, you probably have people that are scalping this as well in aftermarket hours. In the day, you're going to have that happen, but it also helps out the stock no matter what, because that puts more volume into the stock and gets people going hype in the aftermarket hours now, getting people to buy in. And right now, it's working uh, marvelously. Now, let's go and bring this back real quick. We bring this back to the uh, three month really quick. Now, what we were talking about this last little bit, right about $14.90 was our level of resistance we finally broke through from back here in March. So I just want to do a little recap there, show you where we broke through at and where do we have to go and what could be the next line of resistance uh, after that line of resistance we just broke. Uh, so that's awesome, right? This is this is awesome to see. Uh, you know, it seems like forever ago that we were this high and it has been a long time, honestly. Uh, you know, last week we had this surge up and then going into the day, another surge going up. Going over options really quick, though. Uh, currently, right now, there's 21,000 options in the green at $13. 13 and a half, there's another 6, 000, almost 7,000 right there as well. 12 and a half, there's another 5,000. At $12, there's almost another 26,000 right there. At $11, we got another 25,000, 418. At 10 and a half, we got another 13,169. And at $10, another 14,366. Now, coming up at $14, which we're already over right now, so going into tomorrow, we should be above this. Another 16,000 will be in the green. And at $15 right now, currently we'll be over there as well tomorrow. We have another 25,322 in the green. And at 14, we have another 5,621. Now, if we were to get the 20,000, there's a big one. Now, if we were to get the $20, another big one right here, almost 38,000 options would be in the green. Now, this would be crazy, right? So going into Friday, maybe this is possible. I'm putting nothing, nothing down right now because how hype the stock is right now. It's trending everywhere. It's all over Twitter right now. Everything is trending. Uh, this is great news for AMC. And especially if you're holding AMC right now as well, uh, like a lot of us have been. Now, remember, Ortex did put us under a level three or aka a type three squeeze, which is the best squeeze of all. Uh, this is what happened with GME back in January. So honestly, this is a big, big deal, right? So Ortex did uh, put us under a level three right here. So for example, the short squeeze signal comes from a type one, type two, and type three. They did give AMC a type three. They look at slightly different aspects of how to detect a short squeeze, considering everything from short interest, utilization, cost to borrow in the stock price, as well as the rate of change in these. You might see all three of them triggering at the same time as we did on GameStop, aka GME, 
just before the epic price moves at the end of January. Now, they just smacked it right on this, just like they did back in January for GME. And they just smacked this last week onto AMC. Now, it'd be crazy to see AMC squeeze it high. Uh, I'm going to sit back, watch, and ride, and I'm going to hold on. Now, going over the Ortex numbers really quick, I do want to go over these, uh, as always. Well, you guys can stay up to date. So the exchange of reported short interest is currently at 87.55 mil, previously at 93.89 mil, with a change of negative 6.75%. Estimated short interest percent of free flow, last at 19.39, previously at 21.73, with a change of negative 10.77%. Percent on free flow, percent free float on loan, currently at 32.19, previously seven days ago was at 33.55, which is another change in negative 4.05%. Shares on loan is currently 146.91 mil. Seven days ago, it was at 153.12 mil, which is a percent change of negative 4.06%. Days to cover currently, though, on loan is at 1.57. Seven, seven days ago, it was at 1.68, which is another change of negative 6.7. Now, the two-week days to cover on loan currently right now is at 3.9, so 3.9 days. Cost to borrow currently is at 18.76. Seven days ago was at 16.15 with another percentage change of 16.18%. Utilization currently is at 99.60. Seven days ago was at 100, which is another change of negative 0.04%. Nothing there really. Anything above really 95 is really, really high. Anything above 99 to 100 is, you know, pretty much uh, very nominal uh, there in terms of how many short shares are available to be even shorted at this point. And it also shows how much utilization is on the stock. So looking at the eyebrow decimal numbers right, right now, currently, though, we have a short share percentage fee of 24.1%, which is, again, is pretty high, with an available of 1,400,000 short share availability. Uh, now, you guys are wondering why this number is going up. This number does go up and down, uh, you know, quite a bit. Some of these people right here are uh, starting to cover on some of their shorts. Uh, they're dropping some of these stocks a little bit at a time here and there. Uh, and again, this is completely normal. This happens a lot in the stock. It seems like we go through these volatile stages over and over and over again. And I wouldn't doubt it tomorrow if we see this number go right back up as they start shorting uh, more and more and more again. The cycle. It's the AMC cycle at this point. Uh, so don't worry about this. Again, 24.1% is very high. This is an APR rate. Remember last week, we did have it really, really high. Uh, earlier today, it was even lower at 15.18%. And right now it's going back up again. So this is going back up. We had it dump, and now they're, they 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 uh, you know covered some of them, and now they're going to start shorten again. And this number's going to go right back up again. It's just, it's just like the inevitable like cycle of AMC. So don't even worry about that on that end. Now we did have one big uh, nice print order come through today for one million four hundred fifty thousand four hundred thirty dollars and four cents. These right here do go through the dark pools. I know some of you guys don't like dark pools, but again. Uh, this is how those bigger, you know, commercial investors in suits, uh, they buy into stocks that way. Any, pretty much any big buy-in over a million usually goes through these dark pools, especially if it's coming through a commercial uh, investor. Not always bad, right? Not all dark pools are bad. Uh, obviously, hedge funds using them to their advantage kind of stinks. That's the reason why we need uh, more, you know, light shined on these kind of things. But again, this is all good right here. It shows you that some of these companies are willing to buy into AMC right now. And they're like, hey, look, we're at a good price point. We can make money on this. Uh, they're not really buying so much on the squeeze, right? Uh, so, again, that shows you that they're buying at a good price for now. And AMC stock is at a great price. So, we're getting close to that new stock analyst uh, buy price of $16 a day. Uh, so, you had Eric Wold right here come out and reissued a buy rating signal for AMC shares along with a $16 target price. So, obviously, right now in the market hours, we're right at $15.50. Uh, so we're getting close to that buy price for Eric Wold. Now remember, he's just putting a value price on it, not the squeeze price, the value price. We know this many times. This is the free cash flow model he's looking at. We went over my channel plenty of times. The free cash flow model shows anywhere from 15 to 17 bucks. He went to the middle, obviously, at $16. And that's the reason why I said going into next year, we could see this price go up as a fair market value price of around $25 fair market. And that's through a free cash flow model. And one reason why Eric Wold uh, put this up, obviously, is because AMC put those 43 million shares back into the market now they had setting there. That way they can get a capital. And they raised capital of 428 million. So ha almost half a billion dollars right there. Uh, that can go to paying off some of their debts early and things like that. And that right there obviously has more liquidity on the business, uh, which lets bigger investors come in and invest. 
uh, without a thought of saying, hey, you know, AMC is going to go under or water, you know, yada, 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 those kind of, you know, fears that are there. And it also gives us bigger target buys from people like Eric Wold right here uh, that sees that, you know, the, the value of AMC going forward because of that. So AMC stock wars amid boosts from Reddit meme stock squeeze. AMC, which was hit especially hard by the lockdowns, is one of the group of heavily shorted so-called meme stocks, including GameStop, Bed Bath & Beyond. You guys remember, you remember Bed Bath & Beyond? I haven't heard of Bed Bath & Beyond in a while. Obviously, GameStop is still up there doing very, very nice. So, you know, shout out to you guys that are holding GameStop as well. Retail investors active on Reddit have brought up these stocks in efforts to force short sellers to buy them, as well as cover the losses, driving the company stock price even higher, which is what you see right now in AMC. The theater chain, whose shares have spiked over 500,000, the theater chain, whose shares have spiked over 5% this year, started last week with a trading of $9.90, closed Thursday at $12.77, and hit a high of $14.38 on Monday, up over 5% a day. Little do they know right now, this article is written earlier today, so right now currently we're at $15.60 right now in aftermarket hours. Leave it up uh, from that $14.38, obviously, earlier today when they wrote this article. Taking advantage of the recent gains, the largest theater chain in the U.S. said last week that it sold 43 million shares at $9.94 a share, raising a total of $428 million. That move came as a hashtag AMC squeeze began trending on Twitter, trending right now as well on Twitter still. The gains come after the movie theater chain was hammered by global pandemic that resulted in 459 billion dollars loss in 2020 compared to the 149 million the year prior recently through ceo adam aaron suggested that amc fared better than any other theater chain which is true we've seen a couple of theater chains already go under right and file bankruptcy we know amc is not they have two years of liquidity on hand right now amc also been is also benefiting from increased vaccination rates with 37% of the U.S. population now fully vaccinated, Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, predicted last month that America could potentially go back to the movies without masks by fall or early winter. These are all great news, man. As more and more people are getting shots in arms, uh, like I have as well, uh, that right there is going to let America and other places open up more freely, which is, again, it's going to make the theater chains open up to 100%, hopefully uh, by this winter, which is going to boost AMC sales up. Want to boost those free cash flow models up even more. And there we go. You know, so I, I know we have a lot of people always in the comment sections, like the last video saying, AMC is only worth a couple dollars, Jason. Uh, why are you making all this, all this thing right here? Uh, it's so bad. Putting all this bad advice out. At the end of the day, like I said, if you don't like the stock, don't put money into it, right? It's your decision. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, I'm just a nerd on the internet, right? I'm long-term AMC. Again, I know we can hit 20 plus dollars without a squeeze anyway, so I'm okay with that. If you don't believe in the company, you don't believe in those things, don't put your money in it. Get off of my YouTube comments, nerd. <laughs> I love you guys. If you guys haven't, make sure to smack the like button down below. Make sure to hit that sub button. Hit that little bell notification. Also, if you haven't joined our community over on Discord, do it. It's an awesome place to hang out. It's over 1,500 people in there. Come and hang out with us, baby. And remember, hey, I'll see you guys star side. Peace out, fam.